Hi Scorpio, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I am Karma. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, January 16th through the 30th. This is a love reading. So we're going to go ahead and take a look. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. And for those of you returning and for those of you that are new, check out in the description box my Instagram link. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's just a cool way for you to get to know your reader. Um, it is my personal Instagram, so I'm just putting that out there so that you guys can feel more comfortable, get to know me. I love connecting with new people. If you find yourself interested in a personal reading at the end of this reading, all of that information is in the description box below as well. So let's go ahead and take a look um, at what's going on. I want to see what's been going on in the recent past for you, Scorpio, in your love life. Then we're going to take a look at what's currently going on and what's going on in the future between you and this love person and then Spirit's guidance as well. Holy Spirit, what messages of guidance, inspiration, enlightenment, healing, peace, and understanding do you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? And the love connection. What's been going on in the recent past? All right, let's see. What do we have for my Scorps? And you've been very focused on something, Scorpio. Working really hard to build something with somebody, okay? I see that a lot of your focus and energy has been trying to perfect something, which is so Scorpio of you. It's like it has to be perfect. Don't worry, it's a Taurus thing too. I am a Taurus. So in the recent past, I think that you were feeling very stuck about beginning something with somebody, very confused. Um, you weren't really sure which direction to go. You were waiting for something because you were strategically trying to plan how was this going to move forward? I don't think that you really wanted something to end, okay? Um, because something was ending or had ended or it was just stuck. It wasn't moving forward. And I see you here in the recent past trying to figure out what's going on. You're very confused. You were very confused. You wanted to know if this person was being deceitful or did they have something else going on? You know, are they telling me the truth? Um... But it, and it was causing you confusion. Let's look into this. Why is the Seven of Swords here, Holy Spirit? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yeah, I just, you know, this could even be how funny I and I never get this and they just gave this to me for Virgo so you may have Virgo in your chart or maybe you're dealing with the Virgo but this is you I don't think you've been being you've been deceiving yourself Scorpio for how you really feel for this person that's why there's been so much confusion it's almost like you're you're not able to like connect to those emotions fully or you don't want to acknowledge them yeah, that's exactly what it is. Two of Swords just came out. You're blocking yourself emotionally. There was, and it could have been the other person too, but so somebody was very closed off and that's like, it's coming off as deceitful or lying, but it's because somebody isn't opening up um, emotionally or fully the way that they should be to, to let this connection flow. So let's see what's going on currently. For you, this person. Holy Spirit, what's going on currently for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus with this connection? What's going on currently for Scorpio? All right. Overall energy currently, Scorp. Wow, put the put the bar down. You guys don't want to fight anymore. No more arguments, right? I just want to get along, babe. That's all this is. Seven of Wands in reverse. Like I just want to get along. 
I'm putting my hands down. I'm putting my weapons down. I'm not going to fight with you anymore. Let's try to communicate. Let's try to make something work. Let's try to put forth action towards something that's, you know, fruitful, beneficial. Yeah, you're not sad anymore. Ooh, wait a minute. I jumped the gun here. What's going on, Scorpio? If there was a third party situation, know that that's over. Because that's in reverse. Okay. But I also am seeing like there's just, you're just kind of, somebody might be pulling away. There was an offer here. There was an offer on the table and now it's in reverse. It's almost like love is taking a back seat. You're not regretful and sad anymore. But whatever this offer is that's going to be coming through between the 16th and the 30th of January, it's got a halt on it. Okay, there's like a halt. And I think it leaves somebody feeling very painful. I'm going to look into this for you, Scorpio. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here in reverse? There's a time of sadness coming. Why, though? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here in reverse, Holy Spirit? Interesting. Something was moving very slow. I feel, mm, Scorpio, what are you doing? Why are you being a Scorpio with me right now? Did you have two situations going on, Scorpio? Because I'm seeing one situation ending and another beginning. Because Nine of Pentacles in reverse is no longer single. So it's like you let, so maybe that's why we have the three of cups here in reverse. So you let another situation go to focus on something else that was like more important to you. Why is the four of pentacles here? Why is the four of pentacles here in reverse? Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is super interesting. Wow, really? You're walking away from something that was blocking you from being stable. You are looking for some sort of stability. So you're ending something. You're ending something that's kind of hard for you to walk away from and let go of because you're moving towards this king of pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign. But I feel like you're moving towards something that's more stable, that's kind of going to help you level up here. Because you're not single. You're not going to be single. That's for sure. I think it's that there was a third party situation, Scorpio, or this person is ending something to be with you. It could be an earth sign that you're dealing with because I have a lot of earth here. Why is the three of cups here in reverse for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know why I use cards anymore. Because you ended something. Something ended. You're ending something that was no longer serving a purpose to you. You don't want to start something with somebody. And it doesn't even, for you know, Scorpio, if this is the other person, if you weren't the one that's doing this and this is resonating for you for the other person, I'm, I, I don't actually know if this was an, another person, like that they were dating somebody else or that you're dating somebody else because I'm not, I'm feeling like it could have just been something else that you were focusing on or that they were focusing on, right? That they were focusing on could have been themselves. Could have definitely been a family issue because pentacles are all about... Uh, family as well but it's like they're not going to fight this anymore you're not going to fight this connection anymore and I feel like you decide okay great I'm with this person this is you know this is what it is type of thing let's look at what's coming in uh, the future for you guys holy spirit what's coming in the future for Scorpio Pertaining to this situation. What's coming in the future?
Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, this is interesting. So I'm definitely getting the feeling that it's like for a minute here, you would kind of put love on the back seat, Scorpio, because you had other things that you needed to focus on, other things that you needed to do. And now it's like you've made the decision to, to try to merge the two of them together, like with this person and whatever it is that you've been focused on. I think you're realizing that like two is better than one, so to speak. So what's coming in the future for you guys? Healing, balance, you know, whatever was out of order is now coming into order. Justice, some of you may be having some legal issues. Okay, so there is going to be balance that's going to be brought into this situation that is going to lead you to a victory. For some of you, you could be needing to get a divorce, but there's some legal issues here that some of you are dealing with. That's going to turn out in your favor, okay? But I do see, even though this balance is coming in, this healing and this rectifying, I see some pulling away. Somebody's going to be very confused. I see somebody being very kind of cold and pulled back from the connection. Why? Why? Why is this Queen of Swords here? In reverse, you could be dealing with a Libra, Sagittarius. Why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? Queen of Swords in reverse. Wow. Because of an offer. There's going to be somebody who's upset. It could be the woman you're dealing with. Whatever this Libra it could even be this legal issue. But there's some sort of offer coming your way of love. And this Queen of Swords doesn't have to be a woman. could be a man. But this Queen of Swords is, is not privy to it. Why? Why? Holy Spirit, why is this Queen of Swords not interested in this offer? What's going on here? This could be you, Scorpio. Like, I don't want that. Why is this Queen of Swords in reverse with the Page of Cups? Tower moment. Something's going to be bringing you clarity to something. Look at this. You have this surprising offer that you're not expecting or that they're not expecting. This could be you because it's a water sign coming forward to whoever this Queen of Swords is who's very shocked. I feel like they're going to be a little bit standoffish and a little bit nervous. I say nervous because that's the energy that I'm feeling. They don't know how to take this, but know that the overall energy is healing and balance and coming together. Spirit isn't really going to give you the full answer because this is supposed, it's meant to be a surprise. Let's get, um, let's just check. I know spirit will give me some, oh, you have the chariot flew out. You're moving forward and towards something. Spirit, what's the overall guidance that you have here? What's the overall guidance that you have here for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus when it comes to this connection. Overall guidance regarding this connection for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, y'all aren't going nowhere. Bottom of the deck, two of cups. This is a twin flame or soulmate connection. There will be healing brought into this. Whatever was leaving you guys, whatever this queen of swords is confused and upset about, just be patient. It could be a man. Wish fulfilled. You guys will be moving forward towards healing. I feel like temporarily there might be um, some communication that gets a little stifled here, okay? But there's a lot of passion in this connection. 
Um, again, this could be this legal issue that I'm seeing over here that causes some, some imbalance. I, I sometimes I wish you guys could be in my head to see what I'm seeing because it is very hard for me sometimes to get these words out. I'm going to divide you guys up into two. Those of you that are watching that this resonates with you, please listen to me regarding a legal issue. There's a legal issue here. I don't care what it is. It involves something legal, a divorce, a marriage, a contract. It's something that is binding, that is happening in the court of law. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel strongly that this legal issue is going to cause a pause in this soulmate connection that you have with somebody. This is why we have the queen of swords in reverse. I feel that there's an offer and you guys start to move forward and, and heal something. And then something happens that's shocking, that really upsets them and makes you guys pull apart from each other. Okay understand okay so that's for one half that that resonates with resonates with now i'm going to take all of you back scorpio as a group whatever it is it's bringing balance to all of you <laughs> because i have justice and temperance so know that whatever happens sorry there's something on my phone whatever happens it's to bring healing and it's to bring peace and a better balance to your connection okay this is a connection where there will be commitment here. Okay, there will be stability. Um, I do feel like you are aware that this is some sort of soulmate that you're connecting with on a soul level, okay? For some of you, there's gonna be such a strong commitment that it could turn into marriage, okay? And that's what this is. That's what this is. This is somebody also maybe wanting to marry and take things up to the next level. Okay, Scorpio? All right, my loves, if you're interested in a personal reading, I can go in uh, more depth for you. Please check out the link below. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, Scorpio.